seriously fast indeed. Welcome to Porto Aviation's Super Veloce. Hello everyone, we are here at Aero 2023. It's been a few years since I've been here and I am delighted to be back. And right at the beginning of the show, I came by and I saw this airplane and this gentleman next to me and I said, I've got to do something about that. And you love the story, I know already. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Alberto Porto. I interviewed you right here at Aero. Yes, yes, exactly. Seven, exactly. eight years ago now. Exactly, yes. Exactly. And that went over very well, and you have gone on to wonderful things since then. Yeah, Please bring right. us up to date since yeah. then a little bit. What have you done here from Ryzen to Super Veloce? Yes. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching us. Uh, thank you very much, Dan, for all your support and uh, your nice videos. I hope the people enjoy. You know, in 2015, we present the first uh, reason. It was a reason 912 with the carbureted engine. Uh, since then, the, 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 com the, the company has evolved very nicely. Uh, we have uh, uh, 29 planes produced uh, right running around the world. Uh, we have uh, registered 10 planes in U.S. That is a very good uh, number, I guess. 10 planes, 10 in planes the US. registered in U.S., Excellent. yes. Uh, initially, we got some 914, uh, some 912, but now we have a lot of 915s coming. The 915 is uh, based on the 912, except that it's, of course, 40 horsepower more. And in this case, it's a recent with a smaller wing. Uh, sorry for that, but it's just uh, 80 centimeters smaller. I don't know what it's in inches. Uh, about that about, much. About, about that much. <laughs> yeah, it's 40 centimeters each side, so it's total about almost a meter, about this much, okay? I think you call this the speed wing, did you not? Uh, I or call, maybe I uh, call it that. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's say this, okay? From the very beginning, the reason was designed for efficiency, okay? As I said, efficiency is our main goal. So goal from A to B in comfort, fast, you know? but saving fuel, okay? Not uh, environmentally, let's say, burning a lot of fuel to go from A to B. Not dragging a lot of drag, okay, in the plane. So the idea was that with 40 horsepower more, I cannot use the same frame because uh, yeah. then you, you will have turbulence problem, uh, v &E problems, you know, structural problems, or rather you need to put too much carbon into the plane to, to support ah, those see. loads, sure, sure. or you reduce the frame and you get two advantages. You have a plane that is more slick, you know, more efficient at higher speed. In fact, if you see the data, the 912, the maximum efficiency, it's at uh, 90 knots. In this case, the best efficiency of the plane is 100 knots. So we move forward 10 knots for the efficiency. And then at the end, we have a frame that is smaller, is more slick, and we compensate the area of the wind with the area of the tail. Uh, can you do the span difference for me? Yeah, what it was and what uh, it is now? You yeah, said it's 80 centimeters you know, less. But. Uh, this is, we removed from the root of the wind 40 centimeters. Oh, you took it out of the root? Yeah, see, okay. on the wind. So okay. it's exactly the same wind with less root. And the fuselage is otherwise the, fuselage the same? fuselage is the wide the same, same. Okay. exactly the same fuselage. Uh, so both sides like this, so we ended up in getting uh, this much of wind. Okay. okay, and obviously the lift to drag ratio it was initially one to twenty three. Now it's one to twenty. Okay, to so 20, it went okay. down, of course. But still, twenty to but one still glide, it's, it's folks. Very, that's that's, very, a, that's a, very, a strong glide. Yeah, it's a very nice gliding. Okay, you, you tell me how. The, I know it's fast, and then people it gets their heart pumping to know how fast it goes. But how is its handling? When you just fly around a little bit and. Um, uh, and you're and you're moving the stick, and you're not trying to go as fast as you can possibly go. Tell me a little bit about the handling. Um, I'm not the right guy because I'm in part okay. Of course, uh, the handling is, is beautiful, but I invite everybody to talk with my customers. They will tell you how easy Fair the plane enough. is to fly. Okay, most of my customers are people that come from Glasser, Lancers, okay. very fast machines, but they really appreciate the speed that is almost same at uh, those places, but it's very nicely to handle at low speed and uh, take off distance and, uh, and safety features. Okay. Yeah, because you have a so wonderful is, flap system. Uh, yes. When it, the stall yes, gets exactly. very low, yeah, how yeah. low is the stall on this short In, wing airplane? Uh, if you are talking about clean, okay, the plane stall 
something like uh, 45 uh, knots, okay? This one that is a smaller wind. This one, but, yeah. okay. Uh, but when you are going to uh, full flaps, you can go down to 35 knots, okay? That is it's amazing. So here's an airplane that goes really fast. You can look at my website. There's a whole bunch of uh, specifications that Porto has assembled, uh, Porto Aviation has assembled. So you can see all the detail there. We won't go into that. But here's an airplane that goes fast. We know that. But it also goes quite yeah, slow. Yeah, quite, quite slow. Oh, it's good to do that. Anyway. So the airplane goes fast and it goes slow thanks to the great speed, uh, exactly. to the great flap system yes, that you exactly. created. But I'm also looking back across the fuselage here and I see it's of course a V tail, but yes, it's yes, a yes. big V tail. You have a yeah. lot of rudder area on this airplane? Yes, yes. I mean, uh, for many people, when they see the V tail, they thought, you know, oh, this is unique, and many people cannot even figure it out how the tail works. And in reality, it's like to fly in a conventional plane. Okay? They're trying when to think it through? Yeah. When you are sitting in the cabin, okay, you have the rudder pedals like any other plane, you have the up and down like any other planes. Uh, so the mix of the plane is doing everything for you. You don't need to think about it. And believe me, when you are flying the plane, it's very well balanced. You, you don't need to act with the rudder, so with nothing when you do a turn. It's very much not necessary to apply too much rudder. It's, it's very well balanced. You move your ailerons, the plane will turn uh, easily. You know, and uh, this is something that the people don't understand. Some people also said, Oh, okay, but the Bonanza, okay, the Bonanza, let me tell you this. Uh, at those times, it were completely different technology. The people were trying to design planes with a V-tail. That was a good idea, but they missed some of the effect that the V-tail has. So you cannot do only the projection of the tail and say, okay, I save one, one vertical pin and that's it. No, it's different. We did a lot of CFD calculation to get a safe feature and a very stable plane also with a VTA. And I think it's also paying off a little bit less track, okay? But it's not the only feature. The plane does not fly like this because the VTA, okay? Only. Well, their design, the Bonanza, that's from, I believe, the 1940s. The 1940s, yeah. So those. this is, they were smart people then yeah, to do what they did. The absolutely. airplane flies well. I've flown absolutely. a Bonanza. Absolutely, But you yeah. have the advantage as they say, to stand on their shoulders absolutely. and see further because absolutely, of that. Absolutely, absolutely. Of course, I was watching those those uh, those guys what they were doing with their technology of that time. So I'm not absolutely not saying those guys didn't know what they were doing. They know very well what they were doing. But now we have a lot of much more advantage, and you easily can see that today details are coming more popular again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that. Well, they're I said to be very detail. efficient. Okay, no. You are about efficiency, and you went with this because of the efficiency. It is uh, because of the efficiency. Okay. It's uh, you save a little of water area, but in the same time you save interference area. You know, every time you you get a fuselage, a body, and you hit something with a ah. wind, you have interference. Okay. At That's the junction point. At the junction point. So in this case, we have only two surfaces to interfere together. The other advantage is it's lighter than to have one, three, three, one. So it's lighter. In the in this aviation, the ultralight weight is important. So this is a good thing. Yeah, you have a, a mechanism that gives you some extra weight, but it's not as much as the weight you save for getting one empennage less. Okay. So. Tell me a little bit about how the, uh, we talked about the engine, we've talked about its handling and the speed, we talked about the flaps, we didn't talk about retractable gear, we'll come back to that, but tell me a little bit about the construction of the airplane, the materials used in the airplane. Um, you know, the, to reach this speed, this loads, because the speed also, also loads, and, and the gas loads that you need to support. You know, if you make a fast plane yeah. that has a, a gas load very low, it doesn't work, okay? Uh, this plane has a very high uh, green arc also to achieve those speed. So you have a frame that what, is What is VNE? Let's put a, let's put uh, a number on it. VNE in this plane is 210 knots. 210 okay? knots, yes. okay. Uh, That's of course an indicated number. It's That's an not indicated a true number. airspeed yeah, number. Yeah, no, true airspeed of this plane is uh, 250 knots uh, true airspeed. You know, the VNE is both things. You know, indicated and when you are high, flying higher, is the task, okay, for the flutter, okay? okay. So ah, yes, for, it's for, for, for reasons of for flutter. For reason of flutter, okay. Indicating is loads in the frame, uh, but the flutter 
it's, uh, it's different. Okay, so you go high, there's much more risk to get flooded. Uh -huh. So uh, there we are talking about us, and this is 250 knots uh, VE. Okay. I'm smiling because I'm these are things you must think about when you absolutely. make an aircraft yeah, yeah, with this performance. Absolutely, absolutely. Some of the little ultralights that I like to fly, you don't have to worry about flutter because you can't go that fast. No, no. So that's no, fine. Exactly. They're simple. You had to think things through very yeah, carefully. Absolutely. This is. Uh, let, let me put it in this way. Of course, this is an ultralight for the rule, but it's not an ultralight in the performance. It's, it cannot not be seen all. as an ultralight. You need training to jump from a, an ultralight to a plane like this, okay? You need training, you need uh, skills, you know? It's not difficult to fly, but it's not for everybody, okay? It's uh, it's for someone that he takes his time to learn how to fly something like this, okay? Well said. Yeah, we can talk about that if you want later on. Sure, let's so talk, let's, the, the okay, frame, you know, the frame is a structural carbon frame. It's a all carbon all construction. Carbon. Okay. We have two spar, okay, in the main in the main wing, uh, a box in the center where both are connecting together. Uh, all the plane is a uh, sandwich construction with PVC and five millimeters. It's thick like this, wow, okay? okay. So there is not any Very part robust. that is only uh, only the cowling is just a, a, a piece of uh, carbon, okay. A very thin layer of yeah. Carbon. You don't need structure yeah, right yeah, here. you don't need a structure here. So you can see. But if you go here, you know. Oh yeah. This is this is really feels solid. You yeah, can't hear. Maybe you can hear that. Five, but five millimeter. Solid. Also the wind, you know, oh, yeah. is solid because it's five millimeters uh, sandwich skin. Yeah. With carbon, carbon and and PVC in the middle. Okay. So the rest is the same for everything. If you see inside, there is no like in the traditional planes that you have the ribs, you know in the wings, the, 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 the different uh, uh, layer, you know, like this, is empty because the shell itself is what is supporting the loads. Okay? Monocoque construction. Monocoque construction. The yeah. body is the strength. It is the, the strength, you know, there's not uh, like, you know, the ribs and all the things like in the traditional. So it was designed for a uh, carbon design, a carbon frame to be built, okay? Excellent. All right, thank you for that. Let's uh, finish off with the airplane description by the landing gear. Tell me how the landing gear works. The landing gears, okay, are electric, electric system, okay. okay. Uh, we have a backup system that is also electric and completely independent from a primary ah, okay. one. Okay, in case you lose engine power? In, in, in case you can lose engine power, battery, or whatever, it has a complete different system. Okay. It has its own and dedicated battery, you know, with everything uh, separately. Um, then. It's uh, it's uh, in carbon, and what is flex is the leg. Okay, believe me. Uh, of course, the carbon flex less than the glass, but it flex enough to give us, see, okay. you know, the the uh, the the flexibility and to absorb the energy when so you, you don't have it. rebound. Yeah, it's it's flexing. Okay, it's flexing the, the leg, so there's not any spring or nothing in the in the legs. It's the, the, the leg in itself. Alberto, yeah. there's a lot of information. We don't want to tell them everything because we want them to come and ask you for more. Where mm. do they find you on the web? And I'll put it up on the screen for everybody. Uh, you can fly us in portoaviationgroup.com, uh, that is the company, or you can fly in flyreason.com. Either one will okay, work. Okay, either then. one will work. Of course, one, you get to the page with all the other products. You know, we also produce propeller. We are engineers and we sell engineering and also you can find us directly on the recent on flyreason.com. Okay, excellent. We'll put all those up for everybody. I've reported Thank on you. this airplane before. I'll continue because people find it interesting and so do I. Thank you for coming along to talk to Alberto Porto and myself here at Aero 2023. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you to everybody for watching us. Thank you. See you next year.